Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Let's discuss first order dynamical systems. I'll be starting with autonomous systems. more specifically dynamical systems of this form f of x so for such types of functions we will define what do we mean by equilibrium solution or equilibrium point so let me label this as equation 1 so x star from real numbers is said to be equilibrium solution r point of 1 if f sub x star is 0 so if x of x is f of x star is 0 then we will call x star as equilibrium point or equilibrium solution of OD or the dynamical system so then we define something called source an equilibrium point point of 1 an equilibrium point x star of 1 is said to be source if nearby solutions tend to tend away from x star as t goes to infinity on the same lines we define something called sink so an equilibrium solution or an equilibrium point is said to be sink if nearby solutions tend towards x star as t gets to infinity so so if nearby solutions tend let's say this is nearby some trajectory so if if the trajectories of the solution are tending towards x star then we will call this is sink if x star is moving away from x star then we will call x star as a source now let's consider very simplest example of an ODE that is x of t to be ax where a is some parameter or number from set of real numbers uh, let's say we have got some initial condition of this too that is x of t to be x naught from uh, your ordinary differential equations course you all know that x of t to be 
k times e power a t happens to be the solution of this. Let me call this a. So any solution of this gets this form. And this solution is in fact unique. One can show it. Uh, so the trick to show that the solution is unique is going to be this. Suppose u of t be another solution to a star to a then we consider this u of t times e power minus a t and we differentiate it with respect to time what we get we get u prime e power minus a t and then we have got uh, minus e power minus a t times u sub t but since we know that u prime is a times a over here but we we know that u prime is a times u e power minus a t then we have got uh, minus a u e power minus a t which is zero so this means that u of t times e power minus a t is constant and that way u of t also gets this form so any other solution will also get such form so so far so good so far we know that how does the solution of such equation look like by the way this this equation what does this equation is showing this equation is showing for example if we have if we so so i have I had forgotten to put this x bar this was x bar to be ax so what does this equation is showing basically this equation is showing uh, let's say if you have got a population that is uh, changing and its change is directly proportional to the population at time t then we get dx by dt to be some constant k times x so that's that's roughly the the population model or or the growth or decay model uh, with the with certain assumptions and what are the assumptions the assumptions are the population is at time t change in population at time t is directly proportional to the population that we have at time t so 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 far so good so we have got solution for such differential equation and in fact if we utilize this initial condition then we can show further that that x of t to be k e power minus plus a t if we use x of 0 to be u naught then that's going to be k e power 0 which is k so k is equal to u naught in fact we have x of t which is solution is of this form power a t now now we have got we we want to know what what happens to the solution in the long run in other words what will happen if we if we if we tend our time towards infinity if what happens in the long run so so let me put some more assumptions assumption one if we say that a is positive and u naught is also positive then limit t goes to infinity of our solution u naught e power a t must tend to infinity if a is positive but u naught is negative then as t gets to infinity u naught e power a t gets to minus infinity so what is going to happen to the solution if a is positive and u naught is positive then solution gas blows up and if we have a positive and u naught initial data negative then solution blows up but to negative infinity but if we have got uh, what happens if if the second scenario is if we have a to be zero sorry a to be zero in fact then limit t goes to infinity of u naught e power zero t that is going to be u naught simply constant nothing interesting what happens if we have 
a less than 0 if a is less than 0 then whether u naught is positive or u naught is negative but we have got this thing u naught e power a t since a is negative so this guy will go to 0 what is what is going on so so if a is positive then trajectories are moving away from uh, a point what point we are going to discuss about that later on if a is greater than 0 then the solution blows up and if a is less than 0 then solution tends towards 0 so let's move ahead now I am interested in finding out what are equilibrium solutions of the OD that we defined. So we know that equilibrium solutions can be found by setting f of x equal to 0. In our case, ax equal to 0 or x equal to 0. So that's the x equal to 0 is my x star which is equal to 0 so 0 is the equilibrium solution so from previous analysis if a is positive then x of t is tending is moving away from away from x star if a is less than 0 then x of t is moving towards x star so in other words if a is positive then x star is source and if a is negative then x star is sink because trajectories move towards it and in this case trajectories move away from it in the next session i will be analyzing the same example graphically so let's wait for the next video